All right, so we got 25 Easter eggs to Spider-Man 2. Let's go to the video. Spider-Man 2 is a love letter to Marvel fans, and that's why you could be fighting crime only for the other Spider-Man to show up. Well, after you've defeated enemies together, there's a chance you'll interact with each other and share a hug. Oh, that's there's nice. With the emotes, right? This will happen instead. Spider-Man meme? Oh, that's fire. I like that. I've already seen that before, but I've seen that's fire. Iconic pointing meme. Now, one of the greatest Easter eggs from the last game was the introduction of shirtless Spider-Man. It might seem like a cool guy at a Halloween party, but real fans will recognize the secret reference that Greg Miller from Kinda Funny. His character shirtless Spidey hyped up the game for months, desperate to be added, and they finally went through with it. So now in Spider-Man 2, you can find him again. On this rooftop in the Upper West Side, you'll come across Greg dancing uh, with the camera, joined by another Spider-Man. Uh, this uh, is his co-host, a kind of funny blessing. And if you take a photo that's of them fire, game, like that. they're called the Kind of Fanboys. Kind of Fanboys. Over that's at the fire. Top right in Hell's Kitchen, you'll find a helipad with a familiar logo on it. It's not finished, but you can already tell exactly what this is referencing. Yeah, it's obviously the logo of the Fantastic Four. And judging from their paint job, they're probably just moving in. Bro, so it what the a question, Fantastic is Four. Is this an Easter egg or teasing their appearance in a future game? There's also an okay, that would be fire. Detail, that would be crazy. Embassy. This has been on the map in every game, but in Spider-Man 2, go here as Miles and walk up to the front door. Yeah. An option will appear allowing you to do the Wakanda Forever tribute. Wakanda Forever! Okay, that's fire. Better. That's Once nice. Level 25, Miles will unlock the forever suit. Just from looking at it, you can probably tell what this is inspired by. That's when you fire. Miles, the second one really reveals a secret. Of course, it's that's based on the child fire. Black Panther and the name. It's a touching tribute. One of the game's most thrilling missions takes you to Coney Island, where you could actually go on the ride. Yeah. There's a checklist with the optional mini games, and it takes a while. I'm sure you could just ignore them, but once you've completed this, head to the prize booth, and now here's a range of prizes to choose. Yeah, they're super goofy, and you get to walk around as Peter with them until a cutscene begins. Your prize has vanished. Most people would assume it's gone forever, and that's when you become Spider-Man and get to fight the enemies wearing your secret neon hat. Make sure to return here. I didn't even know place, that. Coney Island has its own baseball stadium right next to the park. Yeah. Seems like a cool area, but nothing really to do here, right? Well, why don't you try and run across all four bases? And Parker does it all with the... <laughs> Not only did you get hit in dialogue, but enjoy your trophy. The developers gotta give themselves a pat on the back for such a great game. And don't yes. worry, because of course they did. In Dr. Connor's house, you can look on his kitchen counter and go into photo mode. Zoom into the coffee jars, and they are labeled Insomniac, Decaf, and Robust. And that's not all. During certain missions... Insomniac, bro, y'all did a really good job, Spider-Man, bro. You catch that? Let's rewind a pause. As you can see, the manhole cover says... Insomniac, Insomniac game. Insomniac okay, that's five. fire. Now, that's one of the fire, bro. Okay, okay. One, you'll know that that's sick. I like that. Law office in Hell's Kitchen. You know, Daredevil. It was a great secret, but there was a pink sign on the window and eviction notice. So if you head to this place in Spider-Man 2, Murdoch has officially moved out of the building with his name gone from the wall. Dang. Not the only Easter egg to be updated. If you remember the movie theater from the first game, it was used to propose to a girl named Maddie. Maddie well, sadly, parent. before we the game me. released, the couple broke up and it became quite the controversy. Dang. Rumor has it she cheated on him with his own brother and and this proposal was removed in the remaster. Now, the entire You cheated on me with who? with a heart clinic, referencing the heartbreak from the failed proposal. For anyone who played the Miles Morales spin-off, you probably remember Finn, who sadly died at the end of the game. Well, if you go to Trinity Church, there's a tiny Easter egg paying homage to Miles and Finn's friendship. Up on the roof, go into photo mode, and you'll see the Spacebound Science Trophy. And this gets even sadder. At the Harlem Cemetery, Rick and Finn's graves are hidden in plain sight, and I can't be the only one tearing up right now. The Spider-Man 2 Bro, cheating on me with my brother is ridiculous. Explore, That's crazy. Like Visions Academy. This is Miles' school in the game, but you yeah. also might recognize it from Into the Spider Verse. Yeah, it's completely accurate to the school from the film. Okay, no, that's and sick. It's not that's hard. I like that. To be referenced. This guy's a little more Batman, obscure, right? But pay close attention to the hood, and there's your hint. Oh no! It looks like Moon Knight, right? Oh, and I said Batman. This is actually Arachnite, a superhero from Infinity Wars. <laughs> no, because bro, when you have the cape on, he was he was actually like soaring around like Batman, bro. He looked like Batman with the cape on. Coney Island, you think the ride names are pretty generic, like Big Wheel or Speed Demon. Fitting for a roller coaster, but these are actually the names of Spider-Man villains. Yeah, Big, Big Wheel. Big Wheel was a Spider-Man villain. Hydro Bench, which I know that. Of Hydro Man and his real name, Morris Bench. Or Kadensky's Arcade, based on, well, Arcade, but his real name is A.R. Kadensky. It's not just villains either. There's Dazzler Stage, who is an X-Men character that uses light powers to be a disco queen. One of the best locations in the game is Peter's childhood bedroom. This place is full of Easter eggs, including a newspaper 
paper cutout that says Amazing New Hero or Violent Vigilante. If the photo seems familiar, it's a Wonder Woman recreation of a comic book cover. This is Amazing Fantasy number 15, the first time I never, I never, ever I'll be honest, I really read uh, comics like that, I'll be honest. Proof, just check Peter's shelf. While you're there, look at his wall and you'll find a Pioneer Award from Pym Science Summer Camp 2003. This is personally signed by Dr. Hank Pym and any Marvel fans will recognize this name. He was the original Ant-Man and appears in the MCU as Scott's mentor. My mm. personal favorite is a spray can. Well, if you look on the back, you'll find a secret message left by a developer. It says, if you pause the game to read this, yo nerd, good job. How's your day going? Good, I hope you remember you could achieve anything. Follow your dreams in like a smart way, you know? Oh, can that's you use nice. swear words and text? I guess this is a rated T game, right? And that's not even oh, that's the strangest nice. thing I've like seen that. while playing Spider-Man. While exploring Times Square, you can find a ton of knockoff brands. I mean, the game recreates New York, so there's yeah, true. plenty of companies, but none of them are real except for one. Hidden in the corner, it's an actual Adidas store. Clearly, they paid Sony for product placement here, but this sticks out so much, they even recreated Adidas clothing inside. After that's fire. companies, we have Teos, which appear to Miles Morales as the local bodega. We'll arrive bodega. on the bodega and copy their iconic Spider-Cat mascot. You can find these two chatting on the street with the knockoff being terrible at his job. Hold on. Hey, lady! <laughs> See, right there. <laughs> they have over 20 minutes of dialogue. Trust me, I sat there and listened just to Just yapping. The best All they do is just yap. Scott is secretly voiced by Nathan Fillion. But don't feel bad for me. I can make it here. I can Spider-Man anyway. Not oh my god, here's voice. Is on the street. As you're in New York, it actually sounds like you're walking through a city. And if you're wondering just how they got it to sound so realistic, the actors had to walk in a circle while talking. And the best really? part, most of their dialogue was improvised. Personally, love the nod to an Okay, that's fire, though. Shout out to those actors. Room. In the Miles spin off, Genki was working on a game prototype. Hey, Genki's a beast, bro. And now, you can find a copy of it on Pete's table. The best part Man, that thing run on Nintendo. Hexagon, an indie title from 2012. <laughs> I don't know about the finish, what I'm about to say. <laughs> you'll know that they have suits from Into the Spider Verse, which Jeez. have insane VFX. It lets you swing around at 24 FPS to replicate the animated style. But this was always exclusive that's to their outfits. Fire. Until now, once you've unlocked them, a new setting appears in your visual menu. Select on, and now you can turn any outfit into a Spider Verse character. Woo! And I okay, that's fire. Shadowing the next game's villain. There's a mural in Astoria that shows Norman Osborn with green and purple horns. Historically, he's been known as the Green Goblin. Yeah. This could either be a tribute or something more sinister is in the world. If you played the first games, you might remember that Brooklyn was completely locked off. Yeah. So you tried to go over the river, you'd be forced to turn back. Yep, gone. Like photo mode revealed a horrifying secret. Looking at the NPCs in the distance, they were terrifying because you weren't <laughs> meant to see them. This was so disturbing that it went viral, and Miles Morales, they removed them, only for the remaster to bring them back with a post in Did you miss us? Did you miss us? <laughs> well, I checked to see if they're still around in Spider-Man 2, and sadly, they're gone nope. forever. I hope they left at least one. I mean, because like you can, you can now, you can like go to like Brooklyn them. now in the Parker game, right? Would be the same without his classic one-liners, and this game is full of. Peter's so the corny. Event mission: You're fighting the Cult of Flame, and while in battle, Peter can say. So, what's my prophecy? Oh Death my God. Death by building. Which is an on the nose reference to the actual Marvel character called Man Spider. And yes, he has four extra arms. Still not as hilarious as his quip while battling robot dogs. Kraven's army are annoying to fight, but at least Pete has a sense of humor about it. And if he somehow didn't know what that was referencing, Spider Man. Oh, sorry, Scooby Doo. I said Spider Man. Bro, Scooby Doo was my, one of my too, favorite cartoons ever. Tommy and keep it here That's fine. I like that. So that's the top five uh, gaming uh, for this video. Other than that, man, comment down below. What do you guys think about this video? There's other videos on the screen right now. If you guys did enjoy my reaction. And um, yeah, peace out. Bye.